Ladies and gentlemen, our next battle of the evening begins with a fighter entering from the blue corner. He is an undefeated professional kickboxer, fighting in extreme boxing, standing six feet tall, weighing in 194 pounds. Please welcome Tony. Tony Dellinger from Orange County, I fight at Extreme U. Took Taekwondo over seven years and kickboxing for three. When I put my shin in somebody's neck and knock them out, it feels glorious, it feels beautiful. I love that feeling. I wish I got a feeling all the time. It's what I live for. I fight because I love it. I fight because I can take out my aggression on somebody else without doing it on an innocent person. We're at a stoplight. I grew up fighting all my life. I always want to fight. I love fighting. I love that feeling. My goal in Extreme Warriors is to be number one, to be the best that I can be, to beat all my opponents, to be champion. And his opponent, a submission fighter fighting out of Tucson, Arizona, standing six feet tall, weighing in at 210 pounds. Please welcome to the ring, Rene Martinez. I'm Rainey, I fight out of Tucson, Arizona. I've been doing mixed martial arts all my life. I've got a few cuts, uh, a few stitches, that's it. I've knocked a couple guys out with, with a punch. No, I've never injured no one seriously in, in a fight. I fight more, mostly for the reason of uh, competition, the sport, uh, just makes me feel younger than what I am. My idol in martial arts is Don Fry, who is my training partner. Don Fry is really tough on the mat. You gotta go 100% with him all the time or he's gonna hurt you. My parents are against it, are against me fighting. Uh, they don't like it. My, my wife says pretty much do what you wanna do, just don't get hurt, come back home. Quitting the fight, I feel pretty good. It makes me feel good about myself. My best technique in a fight would be the winning technique in the fight. Tony the Tiger Dellinger, six feet, 195 pounds. He's going against Rainey Martinez from Arizona, six feet, 205. Should be a good fight. Yeah. Heavyweight, Stream Warriors. Rainey, Rainey's been training a lot uh, in boxing, and um, he has some kickboxing experience from back when he was in the Navy. He fought a couple times over in Thailand, and um, you know we do a lot of groundwork over there in Tucson. Uh, only the bad thing is sometimes he gets off to a slow start, as you can see. Rainey looks like he's not worried about his hands at all. He's uh, looks like he's got no problem. Oop. Rainey's experience in the UFC ought to give him a little bit of an edge here, wouldn't you think, Don? I'll tell you what, uh, UFC gets everybody uh, pretty much top-level experience. Uh, if you can handle that, you can handle any other world fight. Oh, looks like Rainey's going for the toe. Nice throw. Nice takedown. This, this is a tough mat, too. This ring is really stiff. So that, you know, that throw takes a hell of a lot out. Look for Rainey to look for control. There goes the arm bar. Oh, whoa, whoa. Got it. oh boy, does he got it. Boy, he stretched him. Hopefully, he's hopefully Tony the Tiger's okay because that arm got well, stretched hard. That was a heck of an extension on that arm. I'll tell you what. That he 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 played me to pop that because you can see he's shaking it. Boy, I really expected Rainey to keep it up top and 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 take him out with punches, but that was an excellent technique. Yeah, it was, like I said, Rainey's been working a lot of ground skills along with his boxing. Well, Don, his training at your gym obviously paid off tonight. Good effort by Tony Dillinger. Good effort. And, you know, anybody ready and willing to come out here and slug it out is uh, 
tops of my book. Yeah. You know, you know, Brian, that's a, a, a good, a good point. You know, it's the, it's the man that has the guts to get in the ring. I, all credit, winners are. I don't think there's any losers. Bob, I agree completely. No, you got to have a set to get in the ring, and uh, you know, it doesn't matter what anybody outside says. Uh, if they're not in there, then they don't know what the heck it feels like. <laughs> Now we go back with our slow starter, Randy Martinez, with a fast finish, beautiful throw on Tony Dillinger. And he locks him in with his knees. He's got his elbow behind his head, so he's really controlling Dillinger. Randy Martinez on the top, starting to show why uh, Don felt he was a strong finisher. And here we go. He's got his, his elbow in that knee, he's setting him up for the arm bar. And here he goes, sinks it in deep, and look at him moving that arm back and forth. I mean, it looked like he wanted to tear it out of his socket. And now back up to the ring with Frank Shamrock and our winner. Rainey, very impressive win with the suplex all the way into the arm bar. Tell me, did it go exactly the way you thought it would go? No, my first guy's not quicker than I thought he was. And uh, I was trying to take him to the ground right away because my foot's killing me. And I figured if I stand up, he's going to pick me apart. You guys look like you exchanged some pretty hard shots there, some kicks, some punches. But once you got the clinch, it looked like it went your way. How do you feel about that? So good. That's what I wanted. I wanted to take him to the ground right off the bat, but I couldn't get a hold of him. He was throwing too, many, uh, too much leather. What's next for you? Well, hopefully they'll call me back and I'll do another fight here. Any aspirations for any other world titles or just this one in your mind? I'll take it one at a time, one at a time. Excellent. It's great to have you here tonight. Perfect fight. It was beautiful. All right, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Back to you guys. All right, thanks a lot, Frank. Frank Shamrock, one of the great all-time no holds barred fighter, the current undefeated world middleweight champ. A nice interview there. I, I think you had a happy student there, Don. Yeah, I really did a hell of a job. I think, um, you know, these guys are fighting really fast because they're nervous. And so the, the fights aren't as slow as what some people see sometimes is there's no feeling out process here. These guys are just going right after each other. And so the fights are going extremely fast. All right, here we 